Welcome back to Coffee in the Swarm, a Project Zion podcast production, coming to you from Grayson University in Lamoni, Iowa. The Swarm is our on-campus snack bar and the Newcomb Student Union. This year, our podcast is co-hosted by campus chaplains Aaliyah Farrell and Levi Triplett and is hosted by campus minister Mike Hoffman. Coffee in the Swarm is where we interview students at Grayson who are connected to the community of Christ. Today, we are with our guest speaker, freshman Christian Biwat. So, Christian, tell us about yourself. Tell us your story. Well, my name is Christian. I am originally from the Northwest Congregation in Des Moines, Iowa, where I grew up until sophomore year of high school, where I then moved down to Lamoni, Iowa, and was part of the Bloomington Congregation. Okay. All right. So tell us about your year here at Graceland, your major, your house, anything other that you'd like us to know. So my year at Graceland has been phenomenal. I've had so much fun. My house, Big Cheville. We won homecoming this year. Not Airband, uh, though. Uh, Big Cheville. <laughs> and um, who won Airband, Levi? Uh, the Agape and Amakai. And who won homecoming, Levi? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> nobody cares about uh, Yeah, no, uh, nobody really cares about <laughs> Everybody's there for Airman. Yeah. And so my year here has been awesome. My major is business sociology currently. Business administration or a different? No, well, business marketing. Okay. Okay. So marketing. Very good. Yeah. And how are you liking that? How's that going? Um, it's definitely a different experience than high school has been. Yeah. I'm really enjoying learning the ins and out of business. Okay. Cool. I was a marketing major, not here at Graceland, but I love marketing. So you cheated on us. I cheated on <laughs> you. <laughs> cheated on Graceland. No, I didn't even know Graceland existed when I was in college. Oh. It was sort of weird. Oh, really? Yeah. It was I wasn't, sort of weird. Well, I wasn't, when I started college, I wasn't a <laughs> member of Community of Christ, so, yeah. Okay, so you said that you're a member of Bloomington. Yes, sir. And how how are you liking how are you, how are you liking that? Bloomington is awesome, man. One of uh, the people that attend there is Max Pitt, and for those who don't know, Max Pitt is just an amazing person and a professor here at Graceland. He's a professor yeah. here at Graceland, yeah, and he's definitely helped me uh, form a spiritual path with where I'm going and what i am doing is he one of your business professors no he's oh, not. Okay. i don't have him for any classes okay i've actually i lived here for up until this semester started for like three years and i didn't even know he he taught at Grayson. you just knew him from bloomington i just knew him from bloomington okay. so what is he a professor of like what is what is he doing here? he does ag business ag business okay, okay. Yeah, 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 so yeah. he is connected to the business school also yes. but but yeah Okay, so what brought you to Grace? So ever since I was a kid, everybody in my church at Northwest, it felt like, went to Bloomington or went to Graceland. Everybody, when you went to Mission Center Conference, everybody went to Graceland camps. They always have Graceland. Oh, what are they called? Oh, shoot. I just lost it. Pamphlets? No. The people that come. Reps. Alumni, no reps. reps. Oh, Graceland reps. Whenever I went to okay. camps, they mm-hmm. always had Graceland reps, and so ever since a young age, I knew about Graceland. I knew that it was a church-sponsored school, and I've always wanted to be there. The first thing I remember wanting to come here for was because my grandma told me. Actually, I'm not going to say that. No, you should say. No, that. Yeah, well, say I mean, I can say that, but I. The first thing that I remember, like wanting to come here, is because that's where I thought people went to go get married and to find oh, no. find their 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 <laughs> partners. And so I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Graceland and I'm gonna get married. And how's and, that working out for you? <laughs> well, uh, first, I got, I got three more years. Or so yeah. <laughs> so okay, this is just like a personal question, but did spectacular like influence your decision to come here? 
Oh, of course. So, I mean, I had already wanted to come here. I actually moved. The reason I moved sophomore year is so that way I could use the Decatur County Promise, which is if you live in if you live in Decatur County and you attended Decatur County High School for two years, you get to come to Graceland tuition free. Whoa, so that's a great deal. It, it really is. And right. so when I was when I first heard about that, we were like, well, the best way to afford Graceland would be to move down to Lamoni. Yeah. So that's why I originally moved to Lamoni. And um but I so I always wanted to go to Graceland, but then going to spec really showed me the campus, really showed me how campus ministries can be involved. And I would say that's where I met both of you guys. Yeah. You guys will forever be lifelong friends. Mm-hmm. And so not just wanting to go to Graceland to find a wife, but to find so many <laughs> other friends as well and study with other yeah, people from the church. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And study with other people from Community of Christ. Going to spec really positively influenced my decision. All right. So we know that you went to the Bloomington Church here in Lamoni, but how is that different from your experience for like church life as like a student with the other community of Christ? Because I know you were really active as a high schooler. You were on campus a lot. So how is that different now as a college student? So I've been, so last year I went to Afterglow, which is our campus ministries Wednesday night program and it's student led and student organized. Yeah, you did that as a senior in high school. I did that as a senior yeah, in high school. I remember that. And um that was was that's that was the first time really being introduced to a non like full adult or ordained person leading the worship. And so I thought that that was just amazing coming to Graceland and seeing that. And so I've been pretty much, I've tried to stay as involved with campus ministries ever since then. And I'm being a campus chaplain now. And I forgot the question. (laughs) Your church experience at Graceland. Oh, my church experience at Graceland has been really good with going to Afterglow and seeing the different types of opportunities that Campus Ministries has provided for not just me, but for everyone who wants to be involved. Campus Ministries isn't just a place for that. You have to be a part of the community of Christ Church, or Campus Ministries has to find you out to be a part. Campus Ministries is open for anyone and everyone who just wants to come on in. Nice. So, do you have any big plans? in the near future or especially after graduation well hopefully to get married and uh, okay <laughs> glad we've clarified that yeah. <laughs> so are you dating anybody now no oh no, okay no. that's why i asked how's it working out yeah. so oh fun. i got three more years yeah okay <laughs> you said that but um big plans man really just live my life to the fullest and how yeah. i can keep keep the church and keep God with one and I don't I don't really have big plans I mean I know I'm gonna do big things I know I'm definitely gonna be involved with the church in a lot of ways and so really just do whatever I can to work for the church and work for God and Jesus so So do you want to do when you say work for the church do you want to like a, a job with the church? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, that's okay. that's that's the goal. And so whether that is a paying job, whether that's a non paying job, what whether it's just volunteering, whether no. it's pastor or So you're keeping your options. minister. Yeah, I'm keeping my options complete. Whether it's president of the church one day. <laughs> nah, but um yeah, I keep my options open and really <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was just... really just work for the church no, and yeah. for God in whichever way I can. Yeah, cool. All right, this is kind of a loaded last question, which is probably going to get you talking because you have a uh, lot of ideas about this. Yeah. So, this one is What are your hopes for Community of Christ in the future? And what is one thing you would want the leaders of Community of Christ to know going forward? Oh, man, I love that question. 
Um, can you repeat the first part? What are your hopes for Community of Christ in the future? My hopes for Community of Christ in the future is just, oh shoot, I don't even know how to how to answer that. I have so many hopes and so many dreams for Community of Christ. I think that we are doing an amazing job of um, carrying out missions and carrying out our goals. I love the enduring principles. One thing I hope to see is just our our invitational skills to lead outside of our communities. So when I say that, I mean not just in different countries or continents or in different um, outside communities and other cities or states, but I mean inside of our own community in ways that people may not realize or may not see and that we may not think about inviting them. I love just keeping the invitation open and I hope that Community of Christ always stays that way where anybody can just walk into our doors and they can worship with us and that we may be able to keep it keep the way that we have um another thing i want to see in the church is nah, i don't know i, I lost it i mm-hmm. forgot what else i wanted to see uh, the other question is what is one thing you would want the leaders of communion of christ to know like what would oh what would i want them to know the leaders is that we're out there is that there is a lot of youth that are looking for leadership positions, whether that's me, Aaliyah, Levi, or there are so many people out there that um, love the church so much and that want to be a part of it and that, oh, I don't know how to say this. Like, we, like I could just say, we're out there, we're ready, and we'd love I personally love to learn, and I know that we're all looking for ways to be leaders within our own little parts, not necessarily of the big world church, but we're ready to, nope, I lost it again. We're out there. That's all I can say, though. That's good. I mean, Christian, you're so... You're involved in Campus Connections, which is our Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, yeah, like local time here at two o'clock, and then you're also on Thursday usually mm-hmm. at nine o'clock. Uh, when I say those times, of course, they're like Central Time, uh, Central USA time, and then you're also involved in Inspire, which all yep. three of you are. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so does that lead to any more thoughts about being involved with the church or I'm also involved with Bloomington still oh, yeah. Sundays and we have something that I'd love to see is a college age perspective because I find it um so interesting that 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 uh aspect of not being not being in senior high but not being with all the adults of being in that middle middle yeah. section of young adults that have um a yearning to learn about other things that are from different perspectives like we're still in we're not in high school but we're not out there paying all of our bills for everything and we're not owning our own houses yet that college perspective of we're in that in-between stage and that's kind of something that I just love to see and learn about. Yeah. I don't know if that's more what you were asking. No, it's totally fine. Yeah. Well, I think that's that's about it. But do you have any uh, other closing thoughts or anything else that you wish to share? Man, I would just like to say thank you guys you three for doing this podcast and thank you Mike for doing this the last I don't know how long I I remember (laughs) I I remember this summer I would go with my friend on a jog every morning and for like the first week he'd always ask me what I'm listening to and I looked up the coffee and the swarm ones from the previous year and I would listen to those while uh, jogging like 
why are you running and listening to this church podcast? And, <laughs> but I, I appreciate you guys so much for doing this and putting this on for the weeks. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank We're happy that you came. You. Okay, well, that wraps up things for today's episode of Coffee in the Swarm. Thank you guys for listening. This is Aaliyah. And Levi. And Mike. Signing off until next time.